do want to talk to you boys about what's next, Jordan, if you want to show us your... Uh, it's not as bad as when I saw it in, in Leeds. It was a lot more, uh, yeah. I had it done on the Wednesday and the Leeds was a Saturday. So I'd come off the uh, operating table within half an hour, got a text from one of the lads at, Je at the matchroom saying, can you come on Saturday and do the first couple of fights commentating? I was, I was drugged off my nut. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, no worries. I'll be, I'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I'm not in any pain whatsoever. I, you know, I didn't, didn't think it'd be you know, bad at all. So got to the uh, next day and all the drugs worn off and I was in agony, mate. My hands were swollen up like sausages. My, they'd done the bone graft on my hips. So I was hobbling around like an old man. Uh, yeah, it was terrible. But yeah, I'm in a better shape now. I've got this put on for three weeks now. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back punching, getting back building that hand up, but yeah. Good. Obviously, everyone retires one day. You've done a little bit of commentary, punditry, and whatnot. Um, is that something that tickles your fancy for when you do have to hang up the gloves? Obviously, a while yet, yeah, but yeah, I mean, we have got time. Um, I need the time. I've got to improve a little bit more. You know, it's it's not. Hot. It's I did see some good stuff online. I'm not even just saying. It. I did see positive comments. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You know, you get some good and you get some bad, but is what it is, isn't it? I'll get better at it. The more you do, the more you, the, the better you get. So I think being alongside Chris Lloyd and Darren Barker and people like that, they make it look so easy and it's actually, it's really hard. Uh, well, it's not, like, it's one of them things. Everybody is good at what they know and I know boxing. And they're so, so natural as well, and they? They make the talking bit look so easy. I know what I want to say, but getting the words out of your brain into the microphone is a different story. But, yeah. Multi-talented we got. Commentator and singer. Kind of singer. Um, Lerone, what's going on? You had that massive win and it's kind of just not gone silent, but I think everyone was expecting the fight announcement to be perhaps sooner. Is that, is that the case for you as well? Um, yes. Um, I think that's a question you need to ask Eddie Hearn when you see him. Um, but I've been training, I've been in the gym. Um, there, were, there was a fight um, that was in the pipeline which fell through um, because the person didn't win. Um, so now we're looking for another fight. Tell them, Lerone. Tell them. Yeah, who is... Yeah, who is who was this person who lost? Was this public knowledge or I forgot? Or Yeah, I don't really want to mention his name, to be honest. Um, but I've said time and time again, I'm top 10 in the ring magazine. I want to fight the best. I will fight the best. So the best need to fight the best. And that's how it should be. Obviously, we're in this business and it doesn't always happen that way. But let's get it on. I'm ready. So anyone, anytime, you want to fight the best. And I suppose this year is your march towards the world title, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, look, people, they want to, they stop talking about me. Well, they don't talk about me at all. They push me to the side. But I'm just going to keep winning, keep winning well. Uh, and until they have to keep talking about me, until I, have to, well, until I am spoke about in these big fights, I'm not happy. As you can tell, um, I want the big fights and I'm just not getting them. Fingers across everything comes off from that sense. Just one more thing, I'll leave you with Jordan. Um, I'll leave you with one more thing from you before I leave. Jordan was what I was meant to say. Um, I know Dave said you've got about what, three months potentially until you can even think about um, fighting again. But yeah, sort of a European defence or, or will you maybe even need to have another fight just to drop the level down a bit or is it look, that's going to be good? We'll go straight back in for a big fight. Yeah, I don't want to drop no levels. Uh, like Laurent, he's looking for the big fights. Uh, I think European dark defence is a, is the level I want to go back in at. I don't want to go back to eight, six rounders. You know, my career has been stalled enough. I've had ups and downs, and I just want to go up and up and up now. So uh, yeah, I feel like the bad luck is behind me now, and you know I've got every element of myself sorted now. My knee's good, my hand's hopefully gonna be good. Uh, you know, my ears are, are perfect, my eyes are good. So there's there's nothing to stop me now. So European Dark Defense, I've got a mandatory. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, but you know, we'll, we'll take that fight. I think he's an Italian, 16 or 18 and 0. So at Lerone, I need to talk about this man because I'm sitting in the gym and I'm watching this guy and he's one of the best fighters I've ever seen. You know, when you look about, you talk about British fighters and there's, there's, there's few people that I look at and I see, you know, you know when someone's just got it, they're special, he's a special fighter. I look, I look at Sonny Edwards sparring, he's a special fighter. Lerone Richards, special fighter. I've seen Billy Joe Saunders up close, special fighter. Devin Haney, special fighter. Jorge Linares, and like they're five guys I can count on my hand. 
and like and I've been around so many gyms all over the world. I've been to the World Cup, I've been to um, you know Top Rank Gym in Vegas. I've been all up up and down the country. I've been to Japan uh, and seen Inui in the flesh. This guy can be a pound for pound champ. He he's won British, he's won Commonwealth, he's won European title, he won the IBO World title against a top ten pound for pound, uh, top ten ring magazine ranked super middleweight in Gongora, and he'd done it like it was nothing. And everybody walking out to that fight looked at him as though he was going and getting a death sentence, thinking, <laughs> rest in peace, Larone. And he'd done it. And like, obviously, I didn't think it was a split decision. He won a split decision. He won it in second gear, let's be honest. So what can this guy do? So it, let's just get him the opportunities, man. <laughs> I want to see him fight Caleb Plant. I want to see him fight the top guys. You know, who he's number 10 Ring, Ma Ring Magazine ranks. I'm taking this mic, taking, taking it off you. Uh, I could spend 30 minutes gassing up Lerone and it still wouldn't be enough because that's how good he is. He, I want to see him fight. He's number 10 ranked in the, in the ring magazine. Number nine, number eight, number seven, number six, whoever. You know, uh, John Ryder, I'm a massive fan of John Ryder. That could be an all British fight, a massive fight, yeah, for, like fight for both of them guys. And it, and it could be a world's hot online, whatever. If Canelo um, goes up to light heavy and, and vacates one of them belts, if not Kayla Plant, who else is there? Benavides. Benavides. Like fight. Benavides. Yeah. Great sure. fights. Actually, that's one thing I will say. I prefer the Benavides to Caleb Plant fight. I think the Benavides fight, actually, because I think Benavides will come searching me. I think you and Caleb Plant can be like a bit for a while. But I think you and Benavides, I like that. So there you go. There's my input. I'm going to say Benavides. Well, yeah, I'll fight any of them. Yeah, I'll fight any of them. I'll leave it there. Sweet boys. Dumb and Dumber. Jordan. Lerone. Yeah, <laughs> Which one's Dumber? Which one's Dumber? It's me, isn't it? Uh, I'll say that one, it's Jordan, yeah, that is one yeah. for also. I've only yeah. got one out there. So you can, you can take that. So, yeah. Lauren, last one. Um, a big thank you to my sponsors as well. Um, as without them, this wouldn't be possible with me training day in and out in the gym. Um, my team, Dave Coldwell, the boys, Jordan Gill, Hope Price, Soul Tan, Stephen Keynes, Strength and Conditioning Coach, Danny Wilson, and Tommy Monday for the support. Because in these hard times, you know, when you're not getting the big fights, when you're in the gym and um, you're unsure about what your future holds, these guys are there. Um, so, big shout out. And obviously, my mum and dad. As and I, I want to thank Lerone's sponsors as well, because last time we went bowling, he paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.